Is this the beginning of the downfall for WWE? This is a very important question to ask, and I'm very curious to see how you guys respond in the comments because Stephanie McMahon has now announced that she is leaving the company. And this is crazy considering the fact that Vince McMahon just returned back to the company. And I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of nervous to see what actually happens here, but let's take a look at the tweet that Stephanie McMahon put out. About eight months ago, I took a leave of absence and within a few weeks unexpectedly had the opportunity of a lifetime. I had the privilege to return as the co-CEO and chairwoman of the board of WWE. I cannot put into words how proud I am to have led what I consider to be the greatest company in the world, working alongside a remarkable leadership team and one of the strongest executives I have ever known in my co-CEO, Nick Khan. Our, our founder, Vince McMahon, has returned as executive chair and is leading an exciting process regarding strategic alternatives. And with Nick's leadership and Paul Triple H Levesque as chief content officer, I am confident WWE is in the perfect place to continue to provide unparalleled creative content and drive maximum value for shareholders. WWE is in such a strong position and I then that I have decided to return to my leave and take you one step further with my official resignation. I look forward to cheering on WWE from the other side of the business where I started when I was a little kid as a pure fan. I will always remain dedicated to WWE. I truly love our company, our employees, and our superstars, and our fans, and I am grateful to all of our partners. Thank you for everything. Then, now, forever, together, Steph. Wow. So Stephanie McMahon is exiting the company literally days after Vince McMahon returns, and she took it a step further. Instead of going on another leave of absence, she literally decided to step away completely. And this is where people with their conspiracies towards WWE, honestly, like they have some very interesting stuff because, you know, with Vince McMahon coming back and of course WWE keeps using the, the terminology, uh, strategic alternatives, right? They're just flat out not saying uh, a sale or whatever, but strategic alternatives to me is a very interesting choice of words. And look, I think it's always been written on the wall that WWE at some point was going to sell. I mean, I literally made a video on this about two years ago that WWE did have plans to sell. And, you know, it's just one of those things that's absolutely crazy. Now, what happens next, right? Does Nick Khan go? See, the thing is, CEOs, they're going to come and go in these big companies. But the real, real, real question mark here is what happens to those who have already started to change the perception of WWE because let's just face it with Vince McMahon out of the picture Nick Khan Stephanie McMahon and Triple H are responsible for getting this product to a desirable place so what's next does Triple H leave WWE does Nick Khan leave WWE because I'm going to guess if WWE sells the company today just for an example hypothetical if WWE sold the company today I don't assume that Nick Khan will be staying I don't know if Triple H would be staying I mean, at this point, it's a family-owned business that literally, you know, has created so much success for being a publicly traded company, but now Vince McMahon is back in the company. They're trying to sell the company. You got Stephanie leaving the company. What is WWE going to look like without somebody who is tied to the McMahon family running it? What is that going to look like? And I think that is a very serious question because I don't know if the WWE that we were all starting to fall in love with again will be the same. And that's just the reality. And I'm hoping that somebody like NBC can pick up WWE because at least at the very minimum, NBC has definitely understood WWE's distribution. They understand exactly what it took for WWE to improve. They were very, 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 very involved and influential in the success of WWE. They were a great TV partner but I don't know if I want to see Disney or Amazon or Netflix or Google or Apple. I don't know if I want to see those companies get in the wrestling business and get WWE. And then what? You take out Triple H, the one guy who truly understands the plans. I mean, at the end of the day, if WWE is going to do NXT Global, if they're going to have this global brand and they're going to literally dominate the territories of everywhere around the globe, you need somebody who understands the wrestling business to do that. And Triple H, on at least at the very minimum, understands that. Now... Is there a situation with Stephanie leaving that maybe Triple H eventually becomes CEO and head of creative? That could be really interesting. I feel like there would be a bigger and better chance of that happening with 
you know, NBC buying WWE. But at the end of the day, this is very, very, very interesting news. Stephanie's leaving. There might be more to the story. Who actually knows at this case? But I want to know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Don't forget to click that subscribe button if you guys want more wrestling news. Because I'm going to keep you guys updated. I'm going to give you guys some real unbiased opinions. And that's what matters.